All right, guys, let's do this. We don't have a time limit here, it seems. All I need from you, Miss Lee, is that you can solve for me today as an ideology expert. Okay, very well. I, that I can do. Imagine for this consultation exercise that you're the commander of the front, mentor of the front, ideological leader of the front. All right, I can wrap my head around that as a mental exercise. And let's imagine that you're leader wing dedicated to absolute stateless private property and self ownership, perpetuating fear on behalf of the government. Nah, I don't think these are correct. Protecting the environment. It has nothing to do with it. that. Triggering the revolution that can bring us total air quality. Stateless private property and self ownership. Well, that's a horrible thought, but alright, I guess it's just an exercise. What sort of person would leave this terrorist wing? A person of privilege, most likely, well educated and groomed for success. What sort of professional background would they need? To be honest, I doubt this person would have worked a day in his life, rather, he played with inherited money. What sort of personality would they have? A narcissistic? No, it all for sure. Gazing disgustedly at us, the rival from his ivory tower. Aren't you doing the same, often assuming you know what is best for the world? I do not preach, I share my understanding, and are all free to listen and disagree. I do not impose myself on anyone. What sort of connections would they need to have and maintain? I think he would approach ambitious upstarts, innovators, investors, people who in their blind rush for progress feel impeded by the state. What would be the motivating drive behind their actions? Oh, that's quite easy. Profit. How would you lead this terrorist wing? I fail to see how any wing like this could probably function, given how misguided it is. What would your leadership style be regarding this wing? I would probably try to run it like the way run a corporation with tasks, reports, and heavy pressures on members to prove themselves. How would you handle the recruitment? I would focus on bringing in a few talented individuals, as well as, as rely on aggressive freedom fighters on the actual ground work. How would you handle the day-to-day -day logistics? I would allow for as much individual actions as possible, I guess. What would be your goals and objectives? The dissolution of the state, establishing the anarchy of a dark, a dark world. Hmm. Can you believe that you should have a poor understanding of the world? Then, Annabelle, wouldn't you agree that such a leader is clearly dangerous? Pervert the motives of the front. You mean to those that will promise change? Yes, you're right. How would you work with the other two terrorist wings? I doubt I would care much about them as long as they don't interfere with my plans. How would you handle a relationship with other leaders? I would touch base regularly. What would your view be on the autonomy of different wings? Well, we need to keep an a trial operational environment, don't we? Huh, who says terrorist cells can't implement the latest management doctrines? How would you coordinate coordinate your actions with those of the other wings? A oh, regular thing up would certainly be necessary. We need to keep our eyes on the price, don't we? Let's discuss the real liberation front for a minute. Better able to remember the deal was signed. Or what is your connection to Damascus Free? Well, really, and I have some common social circles. I assume he comes to my conference just to argue with me. What is your connection to James Bennett? The colonel has participated in some military actions in a number of the Asian countries. I have held lectures. How would you describe his ideology? I will not discuss anything outside our uh, exercise officers. How do they operate their recruitment process? I couldn't say, officer. It must be quite a good policy, though, looking at the loyalty of their members.
The deal states, I can't incriminate you from in forward the front. Doesn't talk about anything else. Of course. But if you have had anything else, you would have even said a long time ago. Well, now let's get back to what we were discussing. That's what I thought. Let's change the exercise. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my god, how am I supposed to figure all this out? Let's assume you're focused on creating a utopian state of perfect equity. Well, that is something I can get behind as long as we drop the exaggerated phrasing. Hmm. How would you leave this terrorist wing with competence and aplomb for sure? What would your leadership style be regarding this wing? Learning from the mistakes of the past, I would focus on maintaining our ideological integrity above all. Oh, what are you thinking about when you say ideological integrity? None. Discrimination, righteous redistribution of wealth, a culture of acceptance that spans all genders and identities. How would you handle recruitment? I would make sure our message reached those who most need to hear it. The disenfranchised. For an inspiring person like Lily Luck, she's a good example, I assume. How would you handle the day to day logistics? I would carefully plan our actions, ensuring we never make a move that could be misinterpreted. Words of empty air spill endlessly far from you. You see, but my equality cannot be without truth. Words, words are what the slave used to break his chains. What would be your goals and objectives? More than a material objective, I would strive towards social awakening as our main goal. It's true. Many live c contently, unaware of the situation they're in. That is the insidious nature of capitalism. It puts us to sleep with overpriced goods. What sort of person would lead this terrorist wing? Most likely someone that has witnessed firsthand the suffering caused by inequality. Someone driven and empathetic. What sort of professional background would they need? I believe it could be anyone. Inequality affects 90% of the people. No particular skills seems necessary. What sort of personality would they have? Open and empathetic? What a tough and resilient backbone. Some of those qualities would make for an inspirational leader. Absolutely. People need someone they can believe in. So the leader would use his charisma to convince members to act violently. I don't believe so. They would urge for more, for more a constructive approach. What sort of connections would they need to have and maintain? Most importantly, they would have to keep themselves connected to the people. What would be the motivating drive behind the actions? The fight for social equity has been a great motivator throughout history. Revolutions and wars were fought over it. What sort of personality would they? Okay, there's nothing else. I think I'm going to switch. <laughs> As a business expert, yes, you are the business expert. Now we're talking. I usually charge for this, but you get a session free of charge. Imagine for this consultation exercise that you are the operations manager, president of the front. I really don't think that's how they are structured. And let's imagine that you are, okay, this one. So, an echo lip, I guess. Okay, I'll play. What sort of person would leave this terrorist wing? That's a smart one, that's for sure. What sort of professional background would they need? They wouldn't need to have some top notch managerial abilities, that's for sure. What sort of personality would they have? They would have to be energetic, hardworking. I think I'm just speculating here. What sort of connections would they need to have and maintain? Networking is key in all business club. That still applies if you're in the business of terror. What would be the motivating drive behind the actions? I mean, they're probably fed up with the state leeching of us, fat politicians lining their pockets for free while we toil away. 
How would you lead this terrorist wing? More than anything else, it would be a PR war. The state does enough dirty stuff on its own. What would your leadership style be regarding this wing? I would focus on building sustainable structures of leadership and I would surround myself with the most active and competent people. How would you handle the recruitment? I would focus on creating support structures for sympathizers who have a plan and want to take the initiative. How would you handle the day-to-day -day logistics? Knowing me, I would probably surround myself with reports and, statistic and statistics. God, what would be your goals and objectives? A step-by-step -step dissolution of the state by replacing it with privately owned operators. How would you work with the other two tourist wings? We would have to be flexible, making sure we don't miss any opportunities. How would you handle the relationship with the other leaders? I would have to personally trust their competence and dedications. What would your view be on the autonomy of different wings? We would have to decide commonly on strategies. There's no questions about that. How would you coordinate your actions with those of other wings? I will specialize the different wings, each playing to its best competence and delegate tasks accordingly. Let's discuss the real liberation front for a minute. Listen, I don't know what you're trying to squeeze out of me, but it won't work, so ask away, waste your time. What's your connection to Annabelle Lee? We had an intimate relationship, some crazy times in Saigon. Really? What is your connection to James Bennett? I don't know them personally. The cop, I only know he's some old guard military guy. How would you describe this ideology? Honestly, I think they're trying to embody freedom in all its forms. How do they operate their recruitment process? Haven't you heard they post online about stuff? Mm -mm. There's just nothing about them. Let's go and talk to the military guy. Oh, I need from you, Colonel Bennett. He said you could stop me as a military expert. Agree. Imagine with this consultation exercise that you're the commander of the front. So, yes, sir. And let's imagine that you lead a wing dedicated to actually perpetuating fear on behalf of the government. Okay, I think I'll ask this one. Delusional. Okay, let's change the exercise then. I am not, I would not. Let's change the exercise. Maybe this one again. Freedom, freedom is nothing. What am I supposed to ask this guy? God damn. Oh fuck, I don't know. This game is so fucking hard. What sort of person would lead this terrorist wing? I cannot imagine. Profession is irrelevant, purpose is flaw. Ship is unstable, manipulable. None. Lies. Do you really have so little faith in others to distinguish between truth and manipulation? Yes. Person of us does not automatically describe one's opinion, Bennett. Of course it does. How would you lead this terrorist wing? I would not. Let's change the exercise. Burning down the world, total cleansing. The more important question is what grows in the ash. It seems this guy is really interested in doing that kind of stuff. Burning down the entire world so it can reborn again. What sort of person will lead this terrorist wing? Determined. What sort of professional background would they need? Real skills. Hands-on experience, watch train, I think most lacking in today's youth. I 
I agree modern society has made us all weak. Yes, my boy spent weeks in the forest alone to become hard and strong will. I think I can understand where this is coming from. And I kind of agree with that. Yes, I think we're living some sort of easy life here. And we're just getting weaker and weaker with each generation. People can't even take you know, a joke anymore. Anything you say can be used against you. Just a little bit of this, they will fuck you over. No, no joke intended. We have to be really nice to each other. Yes, yes, yes. Extremely nice. I don't want to be that extremely, you know, nice guy. That's just fucking bullshit. <clears throat> what sort of personality would they have? Delicious, hardworking, and iron will. Just like you, huh? What sort of conditions would they need to have and maintain? Reliable, dependable man, all that is needed. What would be the motivating drive behind the actions? Hope. What do you mean by hope? That this rotten world can be made into something better, that not always lost. By stripping us off all the comforts that make us weak. Yes, time is the apex predator mankind face. Against that, everything needs to be measured. How would you lead this terrorist wing? With military efficiency. What would your leadership style be regarding this wing? Direct involvement in operational deployment. It would be necessary. How would you handle the recruitment? Let others come to me. Others will feel the same way. Because then you would not be forcing anyone to do anything they don't already believe. Yes, and all then we can work together. But it takes one rotten apple to ruin it all, doesn't it? Yes, that is a risk. How would you handle the day-to-day -day logistics? Strict timetables, clear responsibilities. What would be your goals and objectives? Freedom. How would you work with the other ter terrorist wings? Circumstance would dictate our relationship. How would you handle? Okay. What well, on the missions? Personal relationships are necessary. Unless tactically detrimental, I would enforce a strong hierarchy. A little general wishing to be on it. Planet of War Games. Lady Luck would not be allowed to murder Lady Justice. Control yourself. What would your view be on the autonomy of different wings? Okay. How would you coordinate your action with those of the other wings? Target identification, supply acquisition, and sharing. All these need to be centrally coordinated. Oh, I see scary reaction run for a minute. We have nothing against anybody here. This is not going to to be well for us. What is your connection to Annabelle Lee? Vietnam, she was a teacher there. Oh. What is your connection to Damascus Re? My phone was made by a company he owns. Do you think these two privileged kids in the other rooms have the iron wheel needed to see this through? No, probably not. How would you describe his ideology? Useless. Really, I thought ideology was the main drive behind. It does serve as a distraction. It's a useful cover, isn't it? Yes, but the front did not get here by basing itself on ideology alone. But the front spent a lot of resources spreading its ideological charge message. You're wrong. They understand little then. How do they operate their recruitment process? Unknown, not part of the exercise. Climate crisis, yeah, that's not the one is going to do that. I 
I'm not, I would not. Yep, he had already said that. He's not going to do that. He's going to burn the world down. That's what he wants. As for Annabelle Lee, she is in with the equality. As for this guy, he's, he must be interested in the, you know, isolating cells thingy to gain more profit for his corporation. That's all I can think of. Let's change the exercise. Let's assume your wings focus on burning out the world, a total cleansing. That is a disturbing thought. What sort of person will lead this terrorist wing? There must be someone with nothing to lose or who has already lost everything. What sort of professional background would they need? Only an expert in destruction would have the know-how, a soldier or a mercenary. Someone ruthless. What sort of personality would they have? Most likely a paranoid, conspiracist, exuberant, restless, energetic, yet entirely misguided. What sort of connections would they need to have and maintain? He would attract those who resonate with his inner turmoil, the zealous cultists, the preppers, the doomsayers, those at the fringe of society. What would be the motivating drive behind their actions? His inability to adapt to society would drive him to raise it, all in the hope that he might find a place in the new one. Seems correct to me here. You understand these people really well. How would you lead this terrorist wing? How would I run a dead call that goes against everything I believe in, but I do my best? What would your leadership style be regarding this wing? I would impose a top-down leadership maintaining a strong grip on the loose cannons in my cell. How would you handle the recruitment? I will approach those who are already preparing for the end. Most of them have perfectly functional bunkers too. How would you handle the day-to-day -day logistics? I would delegate to key people, establishing a functional hierarchy. What would be your goals and objectives? The end of it all, right? A sort of mass suicide? Okay. How would you work with the other uh, two terrorist wings? Destruction would be our common tool. How would you handle a relationship with the other leaders? I would probably keep to myself as much as possible, as I would trust them. What would be your view? Okay. They are free to act as they see fit, and if I just want to work fighting, I assume. How would you coordinate your actions with the other wings? I don't think we would work too much together. I would try to keep ourselves as independent as possible. Let's talk about the liberation front. How would you describe its ideology? I think we both know its ideology is not unitary, multi faceted opposition. Is its main appeal? Which means there has to be a clear balance of powers within. Well, yes, but it's probably built to ensure this balance. But the balance would be disturbed if anything were to happen to a leader. I guess it would, yes. The colonel has participated in some military actions in a number of the Asian countries. I have had lectures. He just said it. So himself, Vietnam. What's your connection to Damascus? Well, really, I have some common social circles. I assume he comes to my conference just to argue with me. That's it, he claims you had some great sex in Saigon. Why that, motherfucker? That was supposed to be private. Anything more I should know about your relationship with Reed? I think you know more than enough officers. Okay. How do they operate their recruitment process? No, I will not be engaging this line of questioning anymore. Redhead has already shown you that he can't keep a secret. Give him up. Listen to me, officers. You're wrong about the liberation front. We can bring equality and happiness. You know how broken the capitalist system is. How was and it? You know, in no position to negotiate. Anaba, give me a read or he will turn the front into your worst nightmare. I guess you're right. I should never have agreed to work with him in the first place. 
sign here. Let history be the judge of him. It'll be the judge of us all. Let's sign the confession with a shaking hand. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to this guy. Annabelle Lee has already confessed that you lead one of the wings of the Liberation Front. Ah, cheap tricks, cop. I'm not falling for that. Okay, I'm going to talk to you about that then. Let's discuss the real Liberation Front for a minute. Oh man, Annabelle seems so very upset you told me about the sex. Oh damn, that might have been a misstep, huh? What is your connection to Annabelle Lee? Well, you had an intimate relationship some pretty times in Saigon. What is your connection to James Bennett? I don't know them personally, cop. I only know he's an old guard and military guy. Did you know treat these young boys like soldiers? Whistle on the woods, that sort of thing. What does sound cruel as fuck? Now imagine that if he does that to his kids, what will he do to all other innocents? Given the opportunity, well, there are many fucked up people out there. It's just another one on the list. You probably shouldn't have kissed and told. Probably not. Man, this is monster and you know it. He'll destroy everything you have built. Yeah, there are plenty of monsters out there. God, I don't bother myself thinking about them. This is not good enough. We still need to figure out something out. Vietnam, she was a teacher there. Well, she was spreading the exact ideology you claim is polluting the front today. Yes. The answer after a short pause. Someone like her will certainly try to direct the front's actions so as to support her ideology. Ah, I think I'll use this one. Yes, you're right, but it might be manageable. What is your connection to Damascus? Read. A phone, okay, there's nothing else. I told you enough already. Uses. You know, Annabelle doesn't have what it takes to leave the front. Give her to me, Bennett. Why would I give anything to someone that has never sacrificed anything real for glory? I have sacrificed everything to end up here to help poach the front of his malign wings and I'm ready to sacrifice you all myself the instant that is needed. Power, good. A dream and illusions. What sort of person would lead this terrorist wing? Misguided. Master, a blast trying to deceive a speaker, not a doer. No backbone, unable to commit, unable to act. Infiltrate agents spreading propaganda. Hate. Like Stalin and Lenin did by lying to the hopeful masses. Delegating responsibility, talking too much, giving speeches. The key to motivating people is by winning their hearts. False. How would you handle recruitment? Infect their minds and they will come, they were nothing like sheep. How would you handle the digital logistics? I would present ideas, let others do the dirty work. What are your goals and objectives? 
bountiful harvest, endless prosperity, etc. Ember tells me that for her, equality implies a culture of total acceptance and tolerance. Bah, of course, that is a simple will say that. Weak. That is what a world like that would make us. How would you work with the other two? Give it to me. Agree, the front will be strong without. You understand strong. You have shown it today and in the past. Join me. We'll see about that, but with Annabelle free and you're distracted by me, you know the front would die. A correct assessment. I should have predicted that sooner. Give me the paper. Sign here, Bennett. Let's see what the future holds for us all. Do not forget what I told you. Rebirth is our only option for a sustainable future. I would have to personal trust the competence and dedication and you think a brute like Bennis fits that description? As a matter of fact, I don't. What's your point? It's that he does not believe in anarcho capitalism, merely fatalist Darwinism. He will not help you. Maybe we'll have to see about that, won't we? Okay, cop, okay, the dream of a truly free society cannot happen if people like Bennett are in a position to threaten all we have, we have built. But the fun will and must achieve freedom. If you won't give me Bennett right now, I'll make sure he's allowed to run rampant and you won't be there to stop him. Okay, cop, I catch a drip. Give me that damn piece of paper. Good riddance anyway. Sign here, read, and we'll see what comes after. Okay, cop, you know, I'm really impressed with you. If you ever need a job, look for me. We have managed to do it. All three of them. Summary executions. Proven to be scam time to take them out for good. Extra judicially. Whatever the personal consequence. Release three. We can help make a better world. Release him and detain Lee and Bennett. Book them. Release three? Nah. Let's book them. Time for the trial of the decade and decades in jail. The news is spreading through the ranks of the Liberation Front. They were everywhere. What's going to happen now? I don't know. I think you guys want to say here, game. The triumvirate trial of the decade. 
Matt Patricia Becker.